stop it. Music's my number, my number one in my, my world, but my baby is definitely like my life. And so when I did the first test, the very first test I did was a song called Missing, uh, which was a cover song. And um, then came, you know, Baby I Love You, which was uh, a co another cover song that he, I think when I was like three or four, I memorized like the whole Little Mermaid song or oh, something, something like yeah. that. He goes, that's what I knew, you're gonna be sick. <laughs> というフレーズがお送りするオリジナルインタビュー今回のゲストはシェネルさんでーす。What's up everybody? トゥーフーズからエバーエッグオムライスとガトーショコラをいただきましたので食べてみましょう。いただきます。いただきます。<笑> OK。Have you had this before? I've had it once. It's really good. Is that? This is like not egg and it's made out of like carrots. I think. いただきます。Stop it. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Stop it. <laughs> it's so good, right? It's so good. I know. What on earth? What? No, 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 The sauce is insane. Are you vegan? No, I'm not vegan. You're not vegan. So, what are you like? What are you conscious about your eating habits? Well,、like? I mean, like right now, I so happen to be gluten free、mm. and dairy free. Okay. So, vegan comes in super handy、mm. for the diet that I'm on right now. So,、yeah. I'm on this like gut healing journey. Okay.、Um, what is that like? So, for example, like my. um, good. Complicated. But, like, <laughs> have you heard of inflammation? Have you heard of, like, I t h i n k where you called... get bloated or? Well, no, bloated is different.、Mm. I think in Japanese it's called ensho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in your gut,、yeah. I think that's called cho. Yeah, gut,、right? gut health. Yeah, so, like, that area had a lot of inflammation. So, if you're eating a lot of, like, dairy and gluten and stuff,、mm. your liver gets overworked.、Mm -hmm. And so, like, My specialist was like, you need to calm down and just go on a, on a super elimination diet.、Yeah. So I took everything out. So all I, all I ate was vegetables and, and meat and fish. So it's basically、plain. almost pescatarian. Oh, and I guess you're eating meat too.、Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just whole foods.、Mm -hmm. um, but no soy, no nuts, no dairy, no gluten.、Yeah. No, like, it's just so much. So now I'm only slowly starting to bring everything in except for gluten and dairy. I'm just gonna wait yeah, a little longer. Yeah, so, but this is. But I see you on your, you're doing your fitness, fitness journey. I see you on Instagram. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I've been watching, I've been peeping. I mean, I, I feel a little bit like a, a tofu right now, but. No. <laughs> girl, girl. I, haven't, I haven't been in the gym for like two weeks and it's like, it's catching up on me. I'm like, ah! Because I've just been so busy, but.、Um, well, you look amazing. Thank <laughs> you. So do you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just gonna get an introduction of you where you introduce yourself and you know, activities. What do you do? Who is she now? Oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs> gosh, where do I start? I mean, aside from like singing and, and doing my artist thing,、mm -hmm. I'm a mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm a total mom, girl.、Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I look at my daughter, I'm like, wow, you're like my daughter. And yeah, I'm just, I'm a freaking mom, you know? And aside of that, aside of like, Because my, my world is so filled with like music and sessions. And,、mm -hmm. and I'm always trying to like find time or like put aside time to like just be a full time mom. Not a full time mom, sorry. To be a mom. <laughs> and、um, it's fun. I love it. You know,、um, my world is filled with music, my daughter, obviously my, my family, and fitness and health. That's my life.、Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like, does it ever get hard to like balance it out? Yeah.、Ever? No, it does.、Um, luckily for me, like, I have a really good support system, you know. Like, I have my mom,、mm. and,、um, you know, I have like an amazing babysitter, too. And so, it, you know, and my husband is a great, great dad. Like, oh my gosh.、Aww. Like, I can totally leave, leave my daughter with him, and he just,、yeah. he's just an amazing dad.、Oh, um, that's so good. And so, yeah, I just have an amazing support system. But it is still hard, you、mm -hmm. know, because, like, I'm. I want to just always be with her. You know what、yeah. I mean? Because it's like she grows up so fast, you're gonna miss little, little things. 
you know, she changes like every day. Then you have to step away and go do work. I know, and... I, I know. Just, yeah, even like tonight, you know. Yeah. I'm just like, mommy's gonna be home later, you know. So, <laughs> and, but but she's she's great. And and that's my world and I, and I love it, you know. Music's my number, my number one in my, my world, but my baby is definitely like my life, so. Your life, yeah. 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 <laughs> mommy life. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting super nervous right now. Why? <laughs> yeah. Having little nervous times. Okay. What? Let's put okay. some alcohol in your Here. drink. No. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I was like, she's getting nervous. I was like, let's put some alcohol in her drink. I think there is a little bit, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Tastes a little bit. Oh my god. I don't like think it's that one. Oh. Real ginger. Ooh. Wow. Is it strong? It's a boy. <laughs> Woo! So I'm gonna ask you, how did you start your career as a singer? And I wanna know how you got started in Japan. Because mm. I remember listening to, so when I started going to school, I didn't know any Japanese. And I didn't, there were a lot of Japanese songs playing, but none of them really would, I would, wouldn't pick them up. Mm. But I remember your song would be playing around because, really? but I would be able to pick it up because it was in English. And I just remember that. So I'm like, how did you, I don't know, I just wanna know. That's so how cool. How did you start in? I was in Australia. Oh. And, um, I moved to New York. I, I I was found on MySpace. Oh wow! So when I was in Australia, there was a guy who found me on MySpace who later yeah. became my manager. Yeah, and so he said that able to get me a deal. So I had like a world deal in New York, and so I came out with a single that came out in Japan too. It was called I Fell in Love with DJ, mm -hmm. and that did really well out here. Iconic. <laughs> <laughs> and so I came out here. And after that single, and after that album that came out, mm -hmm. um, I grew a relationship with the label, a and r And I just kind of played around one day and, and just said, hey, I, you know, I'll sing in Japanese. Like, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and um, it, it went from like a funny conversation to us really trying it. And so when I did the first test, the very first test I did was a song called Missing, uh, which was a cover song. And uh, apparently that went really well. They tested the market, and um, then came, you know, "Baby I Love You," which was uh, a co another cover song that T, there's an yeah. artist named T, did. Yeah. And I did that in English. That was that was when the road really started. Yeah, because that, that was the song that I remember was playing. Everyone, I was like, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I can understand it. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was like how how I got here and and how I started singing J-pop. Was it hard to like sing in Japanese? Because would you speak in Japanese a lot? Or uh, we'll you... be speaking Japanese right now. Uh, Japanese. I guess <laughs> <laughs> my Japanese is you know it's okay. It's it's you know it's it's okay. <laughs> I feel like that's so like challenging to try to sing in a language that's not your first language. Yeah, which oh. is weird, right? Yeah. And sometimes like I just I don't know why. Um, but this is this is my journey, you know. And um, I it took me years to learn and accept the fact that, oh, I'm, this is really what I'm supposed to do. And now I'm in a place where I'm just like, okay, let's just keep going and um, and just, I love this. You know, I love it and my my family loves it here and I'm thinking about moving here and I just, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep putting out music mm -hmm. and I'm still gonna learn, continue learning Japanese until I get somewhat, <laughs> somewhat of, uh, you know, conversational level, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah. It's a process, it's a journey. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It always is. Mm -hmm. Advice for me as a English Oh my gosh, do I, do I have advice for you? I, you know, Japan is pretty, like, I, I'm, being in the music industry is tough. It's really tough. And um, especially when, you know, you're just trying to be you. Um, there's going to be a lot of opinions around you. Yeah. And I think the toughest part, you know, in my, you know, I think it's like been 15 years of experience so far. It's kind of like balancing out like when it's time to fight for, not even fight, but just be firm with what it is that you want versus like just going with what everybody else says. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because there's times where it's like you want to listen to people's opinions and like not listen and just like completely just not put yourself aside. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, other people's thoughts and advice is kind of like, yeah, I think maybe I, I should take that note. You yeah, because it's an outside perspective. Yes, exactly. So for me, that's always been like kind of hard. It's like, okay, like what, what you know, it's always kind of like a question of like, okay, well, why do I want this? Mm -hmm. Why do I want it this way? And what is the pros and cons of me compromising? So compromising is, is yes, it's, um, that's a skill right there, Yeah, <laughs> it's something we gotta learn. It's trial and error, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's like, for me, it's like making mistakes. It's not a bad thing. I used to always look at it as like a failure. But you gotta make mistakes in order to, to grow. Um, mm. 
sometimes it's gonna come and like bite you in the ass a little bit, but it's part of the journey, I think. Part of the growth. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's some of my advice, you know. Make and, mistakes. Yeah. And, and, you know, just make sure you have a really good support system around you. You need to, you need to have good people around you, man. Yeah. That's like, that's so super important to have. Who's supporting you. Yeah, that you can trust. Looking out for you. Yes, that you can trust. Okay, okay next question. Are there yeah. any kind of artists who have influenced you? Many. Mm. Um, the very first artist that influenced me when I was like little, when I first started singing, when I was like three or something, yeah. was Whitney Houston. Mm. Um, you know, my parents loved ballads. My dad had a karaoke, had a karaoke. <laughs> and, um, you know, people love ballads in Asia. I don't know if it was because my mom and dad listened to her so much, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I just grew up like just loving her, her vibe. And um, one of the things that she really influenced me in is how effortless she sings. And I just remembered as a kid, like, you know, I just want to, I don't want to sound like her, but I want to have the ability to, to have kind of like that effortless flow. Mm -hmm as a singer. Where she isn't even really trying. It doesn't yeah, seem like she's man. trying and it's just she's, coming out. Seriously, man. She's, so you were singing since you were three? Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't remember that, but my mm -hmm. mom, my mom tells me all the time. Oh, so just kind of like singing around the house like all the time? Kinda. I was just doing what I loved, right? And she told me like, I think when I was like three or four, I memorized like the whole Little Mermaid song or something, oh. something, something like <laughs> yeah. that. Something like that. Yeah. And she goes, that's what I knew, you're going to be a singer. I was like, <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting Aww, stuff. I love this. Whitney Houston. Anybody else in? Yeah, growing up, I mean, there's a ton, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I got really heavy in, in love, you know, loving R and B music. Um, you know, the '90s R and B was like so deep in my soul. You know, <laughs> it, you know, the times when like you know TLC was out, mm. and then you know like Faith Evans and Erica Badu and Jill Scott and like Music Soul Child, like all these people. And um, that era was like, ugh. Legendary. That, that, that was the times when I like, was learning how to write and okay. learning how to make my own beats. You know, it was mm. a very, very special time. And uh, a lot of producers like Timbaland and, and, and Pharrell and stuff was like my, you know, I just looked up to them and yeah. I had to make their beats and stuff. I don't make beats anymore. It's um, crazy, you did beats I know, too. I, should, I should like, you know, like when I think back, I'm like, that's, that's one of the things, that's one of the advice I would give you. Just continue doing it even if like, you know, you don't feel like you need to anymore. You know, I just was just so focused on just singing and going from one session to another. It was so easy for me to just, you know, get in the booth and sing that mm -hmm. I kind of like just, you know, stopped making beats. But yeah, I used to used to make my own beats, my own songs and stuff. Oh, I totally love to sing Christian on beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, maybe I was on the beat. I should figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Collab, collab. <laughs>